Okay, I'm gonna give you some tools about Aura, the Aura, very soon. But when I was doing my video, the neighbors were super loud and I want it to be a quiet practice. So I'm gonna teach you some things that are really useful for rebalancing your nervous system and when we're expanding our comfort zone or our body doesn't feel safe about an activity we're going to start or take like oh i have to make this phone call and i don't really want to these are going to help you tremendously if you have a chronic illness please 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 practice these every day in fact we can all practice them every day okay so there are only four of these exercises we're going to take the fingers like okay put them on the temples where it's soft and the pads on the forehead here and just breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth for this. Good. If you have a trauma, you can stay here for up to 20 minutes. It can help you re-educate um, your nervous system to see that trauma in a new way that's less stressful, okay? So do that only if you have the time to do it. You can start it, think about that trauma, really sit there with your elbows on something and breathing. Okay, next one. This one is super simple. I encourage you to do it several times a day. You're gonna take your hand from one, one shoulder to the opposite hip and then vice versa and just keep going. That is going to help your head Remember, there's a body attached because <laughs> sometimes we get too ungrounded and in our head. This will also help the two hemispheres of your brain because they have a crossover pattern um, work better. Okay, so if you find yourself getting a little sick, make sure you do this. If you find yourself reading something and not remembering it and having to read it over again, do this. All right, that's enough. Okay, the next one is breathing and tapping. So we're gonna start at the karate chop and breathe in through your nose, out through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Other side. We're gonna go down from the head, tapping. You don't have to think about anything in specific inner edge of the eye, outer edge. I love the light today, it's so interesting. Under eye, under nose, Of course, if you have something to tap on, a specific issue, you can. We're just balancing the meridians now. Under the collarbones, a couple inches from your breastbone. It's great if you can cross your arms here. If not, do them one at a time at the bra line here. And then my favorite, this one's my favorite, right between the fifth and fourth knuckles. Oh, this one is so good. One thing you can do is look at each, keep your head still and look at each point on a clock with your eyes. So each number on the clock one way and then reverse it. Okay, if you skip a number, that's okay, but that's important to look out for because there may be something going on when you look in that direction, okay? Once you've done that, hum a tune. I always choose happy birthday. <laughs> and count to five. And relax, okay? You can repeat that as many times as you like. The last one is very grounding. Middle finger into belly button. Middle finger at the third eye. Pull up a little bit. So everything's pulled up and breathe slowly. Again, we have a theme here, in through the nose, out through the mouth. 
do this one until you yawn or sigh because that shows that your body is hooked up. You needed that. Another great one for when you're feeling just slightly off or ungrounded. This one is a great one for centering. All right, so use this often, okay? You can use it daily. You can use it a couple times a day. If you're feeling off or scrambled or not thinking right or straight, or just um, feel like, oh gosh, I have a big task to do. Do this first, it will help balance you, and then maybe even after, all right? This is called SOS um, when we're working with trauma. So it's, it's one of the good um, little sequences to help support your nervous system. All right, I'll see you soon with Aura Practices, and those are gonna help you manifest, so. Um, I look forward to sharing those with you.